It is wrong to use a song that does not glorify God to glorify God. And this is what I mean. We have been all guilty of these things. Personally, I am guilty of these things. I didn't know better. And I asked for God's mercy. And God should have mercy on us and my fellow brothers and sisters that have been into these things and they do not have any knowledge about it. Now, this is what happens. Sometimes a song is sung by a secular musician or a musician that is not based on glorifying God. And we Christians, we carry that song and put in a lyrics that we feel glorifies God and then we exchange those lyrics to a Christian lyrics. And what I'm saying here is this, you are not supposed to do that. I was listening to a message, a video online, and a man of God asked Minister Donsin Onyekan, how do you get such music that glorify and lift the name of God and bless lives? And he said, I stay. I stay in the presence of God. I'm going to use the life of King David in the Bible to give us an example of what I mean. David wrote songs about God. He glorified the name of God and all inspiration were given by God. So if you want to sing a song or if you want to use the talent God has given you, you should glorify God. There is no need doing copy and pasting. I was asking God and while I was thinking about these things, what scripture Will I use to explain this for your beautiful ones to understand what I actually mean? And immediately a, a scripture popped into my soul, my heart, and it says, Render to Caesar in Mark chapter 12 verse 17. It says, Render to Caesar what is Caesar's and render to God what is God. That soundtrack that you think it can be used to glorify God it is not actually given by God. You should actually use the talent and the inspiration God has given you to glorify him. In that way, God will accept it wholeheartedly and he will be happy with what you are doing. That does not mean the person, the secular musician or the person that sang that song is not a child of God. The song was first dedicated to a different person aside God. It was not meant for God. That's why when that scripture came in, immediately I picked it in my spirit. Render to Caesar what is Caesar's. And render to God what is God. God is supposed to be the one and only thing. Our life is a worship to him. If you want to sing for God, let it be that you are directing this song for God. Do not direct the song to another person. And later on, because I'm talking on a... A large perspective now because sometimes you might write song for your wife you might write song for your children they are meant for your children so it can be any song at thought that do not glorify god that do not lift the name of god so you should dedicate that song to the person you are dedicating it to do not use it and God will become the plan B or God will become the second person you're dedicating that song to. If you want to write a song for God, if you want to dedicate your song to, for God, he should be your inspiration. He should be the one and only thing on your mind when you are even writing that song and getting the lyrics and getting the soundtrack for that song. Everything is supposed to be for God and it's supposed to be a worship to God. So everything about that song is supposed to be concerning god now this is what i'm saying i'm not saying the people that sang the secular music are not children of god they were they did not direct the song to god in the first place so do not use it as a second option to direct it to god in that way it will not carry weight and it will not minister the way you are thinking although the devil had made have made it in such a way that that soundtrack that you used actually which is a secular soundtrack or a soundtrack that does not pertain God, there is a feeling that comes with it. There is a sweet savour that comes with that song that even though you put in the lyrics of, of God, if you are not spiritually sensitive, you will not know, you will not discern that this thing is actually not good. 
and even though the song is nice and has good rhythms it will not carry away the thing with the way you're thinking it now this is something king david made his life a worship to god he made everything concerning himself a worship to god and that's why one of the reasons why god loved him so much every inspiration he got everything he got was from god and everything he glorified was god if you want to sing a music for god stay with god let him give you the sound let him give you the inspiration of that song this is what the enemy does to us because we have been in the system of the world where we copy and paste and sometimes we replace those lyrics and replace those sounds with our wordings and even it happens even in school sometimes you want to do an assignment and you just copy and then you replace some of the words so that the people or the person that is marking the script would not know and this is the same thing that is replicating in the kingdom of god we should be sensitive we should be sensitive and sometimes i saw clips where they even carry church clips and then use sounds that was not for god and fill it in with gospel lyrics and lyrics that glorifies god and they just matched everything together and i was like no no if you want to serve god stay with god he will reveal things to you and i know some people might be thinking why are you using the scripture of caesar it does not relate when the bible says render to caesar what is caesar what is god what is god i know in the scripture it was relating to coins and money and that jesus was talking about and answering the people but when the Holy Spirit laid that word in my heart, I saw reason to it. Everything you do, if you are doing it for God, let it be for God. If you're doing it for your wife, let it be for your wife. If you're doing it, except that thing you're doing for your for your wife is glorifying God. Or, is do, or you're doing for your children is glorifying God. Or you're doing for your friend is glorifying God. Let it be for God. Anything you're doing, let it be for God. Even in the music you're singing, be singing for God. Do not replace the soundtrack that has been that has been used in the first place not to glorify God. To now glorify God with it. It will not carry weight the way you're thinking. And you know, God reveals scriptures to us on different levels. And it's dependent on different desires of our hearts. The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our life. The way God is going to reveal that scripture to a person that is going through depression is different from the way God will reveal that scripture to a person that is going through lack. The person might see it from a different perspective and God might reveal it in a different perspective to the way he revealed it to the person going through depression. And why am I saying this? Sometimes God reveals word to us in accordance to the desires of our heart, the level where we are spiritually and what we are seeking from him at that moment. And that is how God reveals his word to us. The way you see goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our life is different from the way I see it. And why is God doing this? Edify ourselves because you bring what God has revealed to you. I bring mine and we talk about it and preach and see meaning to it. And then we glorify the name of God. Why we come together as brethren is to share things, is to relate, is to reveal what God has shared with us to edify one another to, for the growth of the kingdom. And that is why God does this. So sometimes the way you see a scripture might be different from the way God has revealed it to the next person. It is not now to condemn the person that the person does not listen to God or God has not revealed or the person is a liar. It is not for you to condemn. Leave that to God. If your spirit aligns with what your brother or your sister is saying all you need to do is hearken to the words of god if your spirits align and god is convicting you in accordance to what that person is saying it is not for you to condemn it is not for you to judge just pay attention to the spirit and open your heart when the person is talking and the person is sharing what god has revealed to the person open your heart and god will throw more light on what that person is saying to you because he was the one that revealed it to the person in the first place so my message today is 
do not use a soundtrack or a song that was not glorifying God to now glorify God. If you're doing it, let God be the first you are directing that message to. Let that soundtrack be directed to God first. Do not remix it. And this is where we do not get it. Sometimes we do those things to make ourselves feel good. And there is a spirit that comes with this secular music and it's very powerful. It's very powerful because all of us, most of us have been victims of these things. It is very powerful. It, it makes your physical body and soul feel good. And you just say, oh, let me do the Christian remix of this. Let me do the Christian version of this. It just means you are lazy to stay in the presence of God and you do not have time for God. So the last thing, that's the last thing you will ever do. That thing is demonic. If you want a message or a song from God, stay with God and let him reveal. That way when you sing it, it carries power. It carries strength. It ministers to the soul. Have you seen a song where they will sing it this year and in the next 10 years to come, that song is still ministering? That is what we are talking about. It is new every morning. That is how you know that this song was given by God. Cease remixing secular musics to please your body, to please your soul, to please your mortal body and using it in the name of your glorifying God. I know you didn't know. All of us were ignorant of it. That is why I'm passing this message across like a wake up call and a reminder and an encouragement to you to stay with God and let him give you a song. Let him give you your, a song. And I was talking about maybe some people might be having doubts on be commenting and saying that even the secular musician is not still God that gave them the talent. Let me tell you, God has given them the talent, but they are not using it to glorify God in that particular song. They may be glorifying God in other songs, but that particular song that they did not direct to God, they were not glorifying God in it. So do not use it. And it could be anything at all, any secular music at all, any music that do not glorify God. Not only the secular music could be and a music that was directed to somebody else. Do not just use it for God. If you're doing something for God, let him be the focus of that song. Let him be the beginning and the ending of that song. That is what I mean. So I hope this message bless you and it rhymes with your spirit.